Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 208 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today we have a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front, and then at the end of the episode, there's a question 21 tiebreaker if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching, and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. The Spanish words oro y plata appear on the flag of this state, which also features a scene that includes mountains, a river, and a canyon. What is this U.S. state whose name also comes from a Spanish word? Oro y plata means gold and silver. That's the motto of Montana. Question number two. This term is defined as an expression or element of an artistic work that has become overused to the point of losing its original meaning or effect, even to the point of being trite and irritating. What is this six-letter term? The term we're looking for is cliché. Question number three. The famous authors C.S. Lewis and Aldous Huxley both died on the same day. However, that news did not get the attention that it deserved that day because the news and media were focused on what American president who also died that same day. Both of those authors died the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Question number four. Dr. Hasty Lanyon dies of shock after witnessing the transformation of this novel's protagonist. What is the title of this novel in which the respectable first title character creates a potion that transforms him into the ruthless second title character? This is the story of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Question number five. The northern part of this barrier island in the Gulf of Mexico is a wildlife preserve. However, the portion south of Mansfield Channel is home to a major beach resort. What is this Texas island that welcomes thousands of college students every spring break? If you said South Padre Island, you were close, but you were wrong. The answer is Galveston Island. Question number six. Although he was born to a Greek family in Palestine, he is the patron saint of England. He was executed by the Emperor Diocletian for refusing to offer a sacrifice to the Roman gods. What saint is often portrayed in art slaying a dragon a legend that has been attached to his persona since the Middle Ages. The patron saint of England is Saint George. Question number seven. This word is defined as the scientific study of the function of living systems. It comes from Greek roots meaning the study of nature or the study of origin. What is the name of this science that is often paired with and distinguished from anatomy? Think back to your high school days. The class was usually anatomy and physiology. Physiology is the answer. Question number eight. A key aspect of Winfield Scott's Civil War strategy was to take complete control of the Mississippi River by seizing this city. David Farragut captured what southern city without a fight, and as a result, historic buildings in its French Quarter survived the war. Question number nine. 
We all know the French Quarter is in New Orleans. New Orleans is the answer. Question number nine. In 2014, this car maker faced lawsuits in New Jersey and Georgia about its practice of having the company sell cars directly to the public rather than using dealers. What is the name of this car manufacturer based in Palo Alto, California? This car company is the electric car company Tesla. Tesla is the answer. Question number 10. Sonic booms can be caused by the shock wave produced by supersonic aircraft. What is another kind of natural sonic boom produced by the rapid heating and expansion of air? By what name do we know that type of sonic boom? It is more simply referred to as thunder. Question number 11. Negative feedback loops are key to this property in the endocrine system. What is the name for this property in which factors like body temperature, glucose level, and blood pressure are maintained at stable values? When everything is at a stable value, it has achieved a property of homeostasis. Question number 12, what is the term that can refer to each of these three descriptions? The first, cervical vertebrae of the neck that supports the skull, a titan condemned to support the heavens on his shoulders, or a bound collection of maps. The answer is Atlas. Question number 13. First ladies Laura and Barbara Bush, Michelle Obama, and Hillary Clinton have all been guests on this television show. When astronaut Buzz Aldrin appeared on the show, he explained that the moon was not a big cookie. What is this children's program which will celebrate its 55th anniversary in 2024? The answer is Sesame Street. Question number 14. This story's title character is bewildered by the phrases Members of Congress and Bunkers Hill after meeting a group of Dutch settlers who play nine pin in the Catskills Mountains. What is this Washington Irving short story about a colonial man who falls asleep for 20 years? Oh, to have such a nap. 20 years, that was Rip Van Winkle, the luckiest man alive. Question number 15. In pirate mythology, it is a legendary ghost ship that can never make port and is doomed to sail the oceans forever. What is the name of this mythical ship, the sight of which is said to bring doom? Don't say the Black Pearl. The ship we're looking for is the Flying Dutchman. Question number 16. John Criar founded a library in this city. Also in this city, H.H. H. Holmes operated a murder castle at a hotel built for the 1893 Columbian Exposition. In 1871, Miss O'Leary's cow legendarily started a great fire in what large American city? As the story goes, Miss O'Leary's cow started the Great Fire in Chicago, Illinois. Question 17. The name of this disease comes from the fact that it was once believed that it was caused by bad air. It is in fact caused by parasitic protozoa and spread by mosquitoes. 
What is this disease that was once endemic in North America and Europe, but today is mostly limited to tropical regions of Africa and Asia? Bad air or malaria? Malaria is the answer we're looking for. Question number 18, these mathematical objects display self-similarity with a pattern that repeats at every scale. What is the name for these objects that include such shapes as the Coke snowflake, the piano curve, the uniform mass triangle, and the Mandelbrot set? These mathematical objects are known as fractals. Question number 19. In 2004, Brain Freeze beat out Tennis Elbow and Growling Stomach as the newest malady featured in this children's game. What is the name of this game, which also includes Bread Basket, Rider's Cramp, Spare Ribs, and Funny Bone? The answer is operation. And question 20. This U.S. territory is the southernmost and largest of the Mariana Islands. It was ceded to the United States following the Spanish-American War. What is the name of this island whose motto is, Where America's Day Begins? The answer is Guam. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. I had to throw that last question in there. Question 20, the question about Guam and where America's day begins. My oldest, not my oldest, my second oldest brother is stationed down there in the Army. He's been in Guam for a year or so now. He's got a couple more and then he's officially getting out, retiring from the army, but he's down in there in Guam right now where America's Day begins. I just want to say, what's up, Nick? How's it going? All right, that's it for today. Click subscribe to the channel if you're not already and prepare yourself because here comes question 21, the tiebreaker for today. This is the number of Franz Schubert's Great C Major Symphony. A musical work with this number includes a setting of Friedrich Schiller's poem, Ode to Joy. In 4-4 time, two whole notes and a quarter note tied together will last this many beats. What is this number that is also Beethoven's final symphony? All of those descriptions all have one number in common, and the answer is nine. Nine is the answer. Whichever player got closest to nine, I'm going to give them the point. Congratulations, you just won. See you tomorrow.